This illustration will guide you through how to make a full arm splint in X-Lite Classic. However, this is only an example of how to make the splint. Make sure to always evaluate the individual patient's need for support, protection of bony prominences, skin condition or wounds that might require extra attention. The splint should only be applied by professional, medically trained persons. For a full arm splint, you will typically use two layers of x -Lite Classic. With the elbow at 90 degrees, start by measuring the desired length of the distal part of the splint from the metacarpals and around the elbow. Measure the proximal part of the splint from the armpit and around the elbow. Choose the correct width of the material, typically 15 cm for both pieces. Draw the material from the dispenser box, cutting them to create double layers. You might want to add a few centimeters to both pieces, since x lite shrinks slightly when heated. Prepare the splints by dipping them in the water step by step. Leave them in the water bath for approximately one minute. Remove the pieces and smooth the layers firmly. Take the proximal piece and cut a nice, rounded edge for the upper part of the splint. Cut the second piece of the splint to allow free movement around the thumb and a nice fit for the MCPs. Leave both splints in the water bath and prepare the patient with a stockinette and undercover padding. Choose the right width so it fits with no wrinkles. Leave some extra material at both ends to fold around the finished splint. Cut a small hole for the thumb. You may need to apply extra protection around the bony prominences of the elbow. Continue to cover the arm with the right amount of undercover padding. Take the distal part of the splint from the water bath and remove excess water. Remember, it isn't the material that's hot, only the water. Place the patient's arm with the elbow at 90 degrees, the forearm in neutral position and wrist in functional position. Place the splint one centimeter proximally from the MCPs, pulling the material around the elbow. Smooth the splint so it fits. If you aren't satisfied with the length or fit, you still have time to cut the warm x light for a proper fit. Take the proximal part of the splint and place it 5 cm below the armpit and pull it around the elbow so there are four layers where the splint needs to be really strong. Pinch the excess material at the elbow and cut immediately. Smooth the material and make sure the layers laminate properly. 
Fold the extra undercover padding and stockinette around the edges of the splint. The splint hardens after 3 minutes and is fully cured after only 30 minutes. If a situation occurs which requires small changes to your splint, you can use a regular hairdryer to reheat the material instead of making a new splint. Always keep your own hand near the point you are heating so you don't risk burning the patient. Finish your work by securing the splint with an elastic bandage. x light is, of course, X-ray translucent. EcoCast, environmentally friendly and easy to use. For more information, please visit allardint.com.